welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Allison. I run an online clothing resale shop on Poshmark and eBay and Mercari and TradeZ and Depop and Facebook Marketplace and Vestiaire Collective called Thread Level Midnight. On Poshmark, it's actually Thread Level 12 because the name was already taken. What are you gonna do? I uh, source um, really expensive clothes and sought after trends and I resell them online for my income. And today's video is all about what sold for over $75 in the month of February 2021. Now, something that should be noted for me for February is that I was basically babysitting my niece the entire month full time, 40 plus hours a week. So I was basically a part time reseller the whole month. So. As a result, my February sales were just really nothing to write home about, but I'm not babysitting this coming month and I'm ready to go full tilt on reselling again. January was my highest best selling month ever, so I'm planning on at least taking that up by 30% for March. So I did have some pretty good sales over $75. There's only 10 of them. So let's get into them. I'm excited to tell y'all what's sold and to relive my uh, my small victories here. Okay, coming in at number one with a sale price of $75 and no shipping discount. Thank you very much. Were these Mother Superior Insider Ankle Frays and they're in the colorway Act Natural, which is basically an off-white color. So these were new with tag, and I had these for quite a while. Usually any of my other mother new with tag, I, I ran into several new with tag mother in this one consignment store a few months ago, and they sold really fast for 100 plus. But this one, I'm pretty sure that literally the only thing that didn't make these sell as fast as the other ones did is that these were white. and. As a result, I don't really pick up white jeans anymore, like pretty much ever. They'd have to just be a really good brand that I got for a really low price to pick up white jeans. But um, these were a really cool style. They're definitely really trendy. Like everything else was right on about these, except that they were white. So they sold for $75 and they were size 12 too. So that was amazing. And I'm gonna continue to pick up Mother that is for sure. I love mother jeans, but just not white. So yeah, but that was a good sale. It's still a good profit. I just thought that it would go quicker and for a hundred plus. So, but lesson learned. Okay. Number two and selling for $80 is this Veronica Beard rice cotton crew neck sweater in a rainbow multi in size medium. So actually, I'm not gonna lie, I actually purchased this on Poshmark for myself. I had been eyeing it for quite a while. It's not showing up in this picture as much, but it had this really pretty like a rainbow speckled, yeah, see there, and I just loved it, like 100% cotton. I had been yearning to get myself some more Veronica, and so I bought this for myself in like early December, I think. And then what ended up happening is that my mother-in-law at the behest of my husband, you can only assume, actually bought me a sweater that was very similar to this, but it was Veronica Beard, it was new with tags, and I actually liked it better. It was a V-neck and it was it had a little bit of like metallic-y thread in it, but anyway, so I ended up reposhing this one and I sold it for more than I purchased it for which is what we want and this is just a really solid like it wasn't new with tags but it's just a really good staple and I sold it like the beginning of January or no what am I saying this is a February video I sold it on February February 7th so that was even before all of the winter storms and everything yeah they're February 7th so just a really cute sweater. I don't know how much I would have paid for it. I mean, I definitely wouldn't have purchased it if I was just getting it to resell, but I was able to kind of fudge the cost of goods on it on my spreadsheet a little bit just because I did buy it for myself. So I spent more. So 
anyway, so turned out to I definitely got my money back. And yeah, I'm happy that I went to a new owner and they were in New York, so that's cool. And number three, it was actually my only Mercari sale for the entire month. Mercari is really, I think it's because I haven't been shopping at like Goodwill as much. I've really been just mainly online shopping recently where I'm getting like just kind of substantial piece where I pay up like time and time and time again. So I think obviously the things that are a little cheaper sell on Mercari a lot faster. But so anyway, this was actually a really good sale. So this sold for $128 and it is this Tadash Tadashi Shoji black lace one shoulder gown. And I had this for definitely, let me see how long I've had this for Tadashi. Okay, I've had this since October 20th of 2020. So that took quite a while. So I had it for 128 days, <laughs> but that's okay because guess how much this dress cost me? It cost me $13 at Goodwill. Yep, and sold it for 128. And there was just one flaw, like right there, there was kind of like a white mark on the ribbon, but big whoop, right? Otherwise it was in perfect condition. It was a size six and it was a really substantial piece. And then I just included, it's hard to see right there, but in the middle is that this actual dress is standing up in the middle there in this little magazine spread about how Kate Middleton wears a lot of Tadashi Shoji. So I just tossed that in there. But it was really pretty. I'm sure somebody wore it too as like a bridesmaid or something. So really pretty dress. That was that was a good sale though. $128. So I that was like finding a $100 bill at the Goodwill. So I would definitely buy this brand again. It's not gonna be a fast, fast sale, but this was just a really elegant, kind of timeless piece. Like a lot of times when I come across dresses like this that you wear to events, um, they're like really can tend to look just really outdated or at least more like they're suited for a mother of the bride because that was this, more of the style back then or whatever, but this piece just seems like really timeless. So I liked having it in my closet and I'm glad it sold, so. Okay, our next item coming in at a sale price of $130 are these Veronica Beard Layla pleated wide leg pant. So how cute are those? Okay, if you saw my video on online arbitrage where I basically talked about how I source from the same places I sell, like Poshmark and Depop, and I find gems that people are undervaluing and then I sell them for a profit, then you would have seen these on there. So these are like jeans, but they're also just pants. So I actually, in Poshmark, I had a duplicate listing and I did, they were the exact same. But after I finished the first one and I call, I put them in the jeans category, then I just copied and made the exact same listing but put them in the pants category. And I believe, let me, let me double check here which ones won. So the jeans won. So that, that's kind of not surprising because usually people are looking for jeans or pants. But anyway, so these were new with tag, so trendy, so cute. And I did get them from someone on Depop and I did end up making um, about a $90 profit on these. So that is amazing. I love Veronica Beard wide leg new with tag jeans. And that sounds really specific, but I have sold several in the past couple months that fit that category. So I saw these on there, they were being way undervalued. And luckily that person also had something else in there. Not, they don't call it a closet, but that they were selling. So I bundled and asked if they could give me a deal and they said yes, which people are always really receptive on Depop for when you want you like message them and you ask them if they're open to accepting another price. They're always like, yeah, do that. And in Poshmark, it's like, no counter or whatever. I think maybe it's because you have to message on Depop. There's no automatic um, offer button. You just have to message them. 
and talk like human to human and if they agree they'll go and lower the price for you manually and you have to like literally go hurry up and go purchase it or somebody else could like it's not like it's just an offer for you so i'm wondering if they'll change that in the future to where at least at least that offer is just for that person even if people still have to message to make offers but i digress so it's working out for me right now so I really loved these. I would definitely, like I really wanna wear some wide leg pants soon, but I don't know. I don't know how they would look on my body type, but I really wanna try it soon. I'm definitely, I'm a millennial. I'm still in the skinny jeans phase, so I'm in there hard. But anyway, so these were amazing. Yeah, and I, these were like really long too. So I think you like had to wear heels with them. So I hope the person who got them really likes them. $130. And aren't those cute stock photos? Come on, those look amazing. Okay, this next one was a glorious surprise for me. I woke up one morning and I just saw that amazing eBay push notification on my phone that we all yearn to see. And it said, congratulations, your item has sold. Which for me is great because I have offers toggled on on all of my eBay listings. It's not just a buy it now only option. So when I get a notification that where I didn't even send anyone an offer that just says, congratulations, your item has been sold. I know that it's for full price. And so, okay, let me just tell you what it is. So it is this new with tag, free people, Lauren band cropped jacket. And it was something that I got from Buffalo Exchange. Isn't that really cute? So it was weird. I think it was like, some kind of, I don't know, like a sample or, I don't know, but the tag was really weird. So there was no fabric tag, like it wasn't even cut out. It just was never there in the first place. And then the actual free people like pull off tag said like barely anything. It was just like free people and then that's it. But anyway, so I was kind of worried about this cause I thought it was a really unique and it had good comps, but once I listed it, it just, it wasn't getting that much, like it was getting attention, but no serious people. So I was kind of worried about it because I did pay up for it. This cost me $33, so I did pay up for it, but I knew that I would be at least able to sell it for over 100 because these, the whole like band kind of military inspired jacket is definitely really in. It's like utilitarian, but fancy but like it's kind of androgynous too like it's just really cool and then plus it had that killer lining that like a really bright like almost tartan red and black lining i just love it when a jacket is like already cool and then you open it up and it's like don't mess with me i got a cool lining bitch so this is really exciting sold for 145 dollars plus five dollars shipping so i think i can count that as a solid 150 so yeah, that was great. And then so I ended up making an $81 profit on that after shipping because it did cost me $11, so I paid a little bit. But at least it was on eBay and not Poshmark because that would mean more fees. So really happy with that one. I would buy that one again. That, I would buy it even without tags. And you know what too, it didn't even have a size tag. Like that's what I mean, it was just kind of weird. It didn't have a size tag at all. It wasn't ripped out, just was never there. So even though I stated in the listing, this doesn't have a size tag, but it seems like a size small, someone still bought it for full price and they didn't return it either. It's like done, it's everything, it's delivered, it's there. So really happy with that one. Okay, we are getting higher and higher, and we have one, two, three, four, five items left. So this one is a Spell and the Gypsy Buttercup Maxi Gown in Sunrise, and it was an extra small. I actually got this at a Pavement, which is a buy, sell, trade store. They only have them, I think, in Austin and Houston, Texas. And when I was in Houston for Christmas, trying to remember if it was Thanksgiving or Christmas, but I think it was Christmas, I found it there. And guys, I literally found this for $22. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. Pricing a flawless, 
Belle and the Gypsy Collective maxi dress with these huge bell sleeves. I don't know what they were thinking pricing it for $22, but I mean, they had so much clothing. Like their dress rack, it was the kind where you could barely just push the other dresses out of the way to like see the front of the next dress. So maybe they were just pricing everything to go. I don't know. But so this took a little while. Let's see, it took six, no. It took 41 days to sell. So that's actually really good. It didn't even take that long. And this sold for $160, which is great because that leaves me with a profit, net profit of $98.55 with a 61.59% profit margin. So really happy about that. Whenever my profit margin after site fees and shipping is more than 50%, I'm very, very happy because it's difficult enough to double your money when you're paying up and you curate your closet with mid-tier luxury. It's hard enough to reach a profit margin of 50% gross before site fees because think about it, site fees for Poshmark are 20%, that's one fifth. So even if you're selling something from your own closet, say, or you got it for free, someone donated it to you, you are still, even if you sell it for full asking price, your profit margin is at maximum only going to be 80% because of that 20% site fee. So it's hard enough to get over 50% gross, but when you take away site fees, that gets more difficult for sure. So anything over 50 is great. And this was over 60. So that is amazing. And I, I, I knew that when I saw Spell and the Gypsy maxi dress for over, for under $30, like, Come on, that was an absolute no-brainer. I grabbed that thing so fast. That's like one of those memories that when I'm kind of down, I just think about going through a rack of dresses and then just seeing like the word spell, you know? I mean, I would have bought it if it, they had marked it up to 50, but anyway, ugh, love Spell on the Gypsy. I don't have any more right now. I need to go find some more. I'm going sourcing tomorrow, so maybe, maybe then. Okay, next up is this Reese Willow Suede Wrap Jacket in clay, clay red in a size large. So I actually sourced this on Poshmark. It was one of those things where I think I was searching for different brands and Reese must have been one of the ones I was searching for. And this one popped up, but it was just a really, like not very well done listing like the photos were really bad it only had like two photos or something but they said it was a flawless new with tag uh 100 like goat leather or whatever yeah goat leather uh reese suede jacket and then i saw that the price on the price tag was 745 dollars so they kept it was like one of those where once you like it on poshmark you get all of their updates as they keep dropping the price and it was one where they were just dropping the price like every other day i would get a notification that it kept dropping and so by the time they had got down to like 30 percent of their original asking price which was already low i was like you know what just give me that jacket just so you'll be quiet about it you know just stop notifying me that you're lowering the price but anyway i know i can just unlike it that's i was just making a joke but anyway so i went ahead and bought it um for 80 dollars. so i know that's a lot but when you look at the original price of 745 and i had some poshmark credit actually from um referrals on there i think i had like 30 dollars in credit so I thought it over, looked at comps, you know, everything, and I decided yes. And let's see, so it finally sold for $180. And so I had had it for 77 days, so I could have waited longer, but I felt that the season was starting to end. It wasn't getting that cold anymore. I was wrong, but I don't know. I think there was one person who really wanted it and they were messaging me and we were messaging back and forth and they could only go as high as 180, you know, that whole story. I've fallen for it before. So I could have waited. Yeah, I could have waited for sure. And that goes with everything. Like you, somebody will come along that will buy your item like for asking price if you wait long enough. <laughs> like that's true. 
So I just went ahead and sold this for $180. So I ended up making um, 60 something dollars on it, which live and learn. I mean, that's like a 30% profit margin, but but that's okay. <laughs> I don't know what, really what else to say about that. Not everything turns out how you think it's going to, and you learn from every single thing. Also, like how cool did my nails look then? I had them painted. Uh, every finger was a different color, and they were all like glittery. I was really, I was really popping off with my nails back then, but I haven't got them done lately. Uh, anyway. <laughs> okay, our next thing is technically a bundle of three. The way that they broke down that the pricing within the bundle means that only one of them, is that right? Yeah, that only one of them ended up selling technically for over $75, but I'm just gonna go over the bundle with you. So it was a, how much was the bundle? It was $340, so I ended up getting $272. And this, I don't know if I would have accepted this if it wasn't this particular month where I was only reselling part-time. And so my sales, I think I was just accepting as being a little more liberal with my acceptance of offers, but still, we did still go back and forth a little bit. So I didn't just take her original offer, but so it were, it was, it were, it were three items. It was three items. And okay. So the most exciting item by far, one of the favorite things, my favorite things that I've had in my closet for a while now is this Alice McCall blue Memphis tassel midi dress. Look how gorgeous that is. I just loved this dress so, so, so much. And it had the most amazing stock photos. I think still these are the best stock photos. And these aren't even stock photos. They're a blogger um, that actually my friend from Instagram, Melinda at Curated Cool, she actually, I posted that I sold this dress on my Instagram. And of course, Melinda was like, I actually know that blogger. And um, if you're on Clubhouse at all, reselling Clubhouse, then you probably know Melinda. But anyway, she knows this blogger too. So it's such a gorgeous dress. And the person who bought this bundle was like blown away by it. And she said that she didn't even have anywhere to wear these yet, but she just couldn't like quote unquote, couldn't resist some of the dresses in my closet, which was a great thing to hear obviously, because I work really hard at curating my closet and I take a lot of pride in what I choose. So anyway, this one, the way that it worked out in, you know, I just like prorated the bundle with my, what I had as asking prices for each of the items. And so I just like cross multiplied to like find out what the final value of each sale price would be. So this one came out to $210. So I did end up making uh, about $90 on this dress alone. So that's really great. I'm, I'm happy with that for sure. And I had had this for 109 days. I listed it like in the dead of winter. So that makes total sense. Like I'm really fine with that. I did a lot of sourcing for spring back in October, November, and that stuff is just now coming around and selling really well. So, and I knew that would happen. So that's totally fine. So I'm, I miss having this in my closet. I miss her, but the person who bought it really loved it and that means so much to me. So thank you so much if you're watching. There's probably no way in hell that you are because I only have 60 subscribers, but if you're out there, thank you. Well, you are out there, but if you're hearing this, thank you. Okay, the next dress to sell in that bundle was this was this new with tag farm rio ruffled botanical maxi dress and let me show you the stock photos okay so there's the stock photos this dress is so cute i actually got this at my local uptown cheapskate which is a buy sold trade store that has a bunch of franchises around the nation and the thing that happened with this dress so i bought it without checking comps because I believe, so at my Uptown Cheapskate, they have like a really good reward system where for every $300 you spend, you get 20% off of your entire next purchase transaction, which is amazing. Like that is crazy that they have that. So that's just like getting your Poshmark fee back on that stuff when you think about it. 
so I think I needed like one more item to reach 300 so that next time I would have my discount. So yeah, so I purchased this without looking at comps because I was really, I had like just learned about Farm Rio at that point and I still absolutely love Farm Rio. Um, I think one of my last, I think like three of my videos now I've been wearing Farm Rio clothes. But anyway, so I had like just learned about it. I was super hyped on it. I, and then I saw that they had a new with tag, like adorable, like vacation dress. So I bought it. And then what happened is that I saw that they were super oversaturated on Poshmark. Like everybody had one of these dresses and they like most of them are new with tag too. So I was like, so I was just trying to see that, well, like see how they're already popping up, like how many of them there are. Look at that. Like I'm not even, yeah. Look, even Recloth, Recloth Collection has, has one. <laughs> but you can always tell her obviously by her great um, modeled photos. Yeah, look at those. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. So I was ecstatic when she included this in her bundle. I was like, oh my God, I'm not gonna have this until I'm 85 years old. Like I was so happy. So basically this worked out to $72. So I didn't make a ton on it, but still, like I said, I'm just really happy that it sold. Number one, I made a profit. Number two, the person who got it really, really liked it. And number three, I... <laughs> I was gonna say I didn't have it for that long, but I had it for 154 days, which for posting it in the dead of winter, that's actually pretty good. So I guess that's okay. And then the third dress that sold in that bundle was, okay, so this was a dress that had had so much attention. This is the Anthropology Anupama Mira Costa Silk Maxi Dress. That's definitely a mouthful, but there you can see the title right there. So I had never heard of this brand before and I actually got this when I hadn't been reselling for that long. So I was at a Goodwill and I came across this dress and it's obviously like just really pretty on the face of it. And I looked at the care tag or the fabric tag and it said 100% silk. So I put it in my cart and then I looked up the, and then I looked it up on Poshmark when I was looking up comps, and I saw that it was sold by sold by Anthropology. So anyway, yeah, I bought it, and I think it was only seven dollars. Yeah, so seven dollars, and this worked out to having a sale price of fifty four dollars. So not bad at all, and because that is actually a sixty seven percent profit margin, so that's amazing. Anything over 50, I'm ecstatic about. So this dress got so much attention, so many likes. And to be candid, so it actually had a stain like right here at the collar that I was just, I took photos and you can see the stain in the photos. And I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna list the flaw because I know I can get this flaw out with OxyClean. And wouldn't you know it, this dress just, sat and sat and sat on my rack it was listed without mentioning any flaws but it was just on my rack for you know three months until the night after i sold it like i went ahead and accepted it just betting and believing that i could get this stain out luckily through the power of oxyclean you know i the, the stain came right out and then i was able to just steam it again and sent it off and there is no stain there so that's a happy ending to that story but obviously it's be careful like probably shouldn't do that you should just make sure you can remove the stains first but anyway really happy that this dress sold it's so pretty and i think it was like the only one online i i hadn't ever seen it it's really i love the huge flowers it's like kind of mod like not the cut of the dress, but the pattern of the dress with like huge flowers it looks really mod to me. And then of course it has like a 70s like house dress flair. So really, really cute. Yeah, she's gonna look so cute in that. Okay, our second to last item on my what sold for over $75 in February is 
probably the most exciting. If you follow me on Instagram at all, you definitely heard about my Zimmerman haul that I kind of kept it a secret for the most part, but I did tell y'all that I found a bunch of newest tag Zimmerman on Depop for an extremely good price. Like the price was so good that I don't know how many times I went into like the Depop like FAQ and just made sure that they protected all of their um, buyers from like fake items because I was like, how are they selling them for this low? And how have they not all gotten snatched up yet? So I was like, I spent a good chunk of change on these for sure, but I was very happy with the prices if they were real. So I got them, they were real. They were all like in the Zimmerman branded like shrink wrap like they had been mailed to those people that way. So, and then this one sold. So guys, okay. I purchased these shorts on Depop for $50. They sold for $220. They are the Zimmerman Alia High Waist White Floral Short. They are 100% linen. They're 100% adorable. So versatile, so cute. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, bomb it on it, eat it, give birth to it. I mean, look at those flowers, look at the scalloped edges, like, Oh my god, so like all the stuff I got was from the Zimmerman uh, Swim and Resort collection. I think either 2018 or 2019, so still really recent. So on trend, so freaking cute. I like, these are getting so much attention. I still have my other ones and I actually just ordered more. Like I said, I don't know what alternate reality I'm in to be finding these things, but maybe other people think that it's too good to be true as well or something and they're not buying it I, like i don't know why and then i i literally asked the person are you going to be getting more new with tag zimmerman like do you have some kind of pipeline that i need to be a part of and they're like no this is it like better get it while you can so i was even more curious then i was like did you just like find a huge sack of like new with tag zimmerman on the street or something like anyway so this is just one of the reasons I love sourcing online because you never know what you're gonna find like on a day-to-day -day basis. So here's the tag. You can see that they retail for $375 for a pair of shorts. It's like an entire car payment. And these um, were a an Australian size two, but a US size eight. So really it's like, that's my size. I've talked about this before, like in my last video. So I'm not gonna go like on a whole tangent again, but these are just so well made, so gorgeous, and so, so many cute many stock photos. photos. So I don't know, I'm sorry I just yelled at you. But so anyway, these sold for $220, which gave me a profit margin of 64%. And I profited $141 net from these pair of shorts. Yeah, so love it. So I had them listed for 300. Someone sent me an offer for 200 after eight days and I countered 220 and they accepted. So eight days. So you know what I did? I went back and I ordered two more of this exact pair of shorts. So I'm hoping to recreate that magic or maybe go even higher uh, for March. Maybe you'll hear me on March's video say that my other Zimmerman stuff sold. So I'm so happy. And then our last item that sold for the most is this new with tag Veronica Beard for tuna dicky jacket in camel. And I think because I bought two of these um, from Nordstrom Rack on my Thanksgiving break in Houston. So I'm pretty sure the first one might have been on one of my prior videos. I don't know because I, I know I sold my first one on Trade Z. One of the two sales I've ever had on Trade Z. So whatever. And they were both Veronica Beard jackets. But on New Year's Eve, I sold the, my first one of this for full asking price of $345. So I had been holding on to this one for a while because I wanted to get like upwards of 300 again. But at 
a certain point I got an offer for $250 and I accepted it because that was still a really good profit. So let's see. I ended up making about a 45% profit margin, but that's okay because I still profited over $100 on this jacket. So that's great. I mean, at the end of the day, what ends up being the most important is not profit margin, but net profit. So if I can make $100 on everything, then that's amazing. Can you imagine if your ASP was 100? So, or not your ASP, but your, you know, average net profit. Anyway, so that was my last item. And like I said before, I'm really excited to go hard in March. I'm gonna be full time again. I'm going to be sourcing at a lot more thrift stores again and not as much online because even though it has been really fun just doing kind of sporadic high dollar high profit sales, I am kind of missing doing at least, you know, five to 10 sales in one day every day. I don't know why because that equals more shipping and all of that but it's just kind of hard when you go for like a day or two with no sales even though you know you just made like four hundred dollars like a few days ago when you're like totally covered for your monthly goal but still i'm gonna be doing a lot more thrift with me's and um tune in next month for what sold over 75 dollars in march of 2021 and thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and I'm so glad you're enjoying my content. If you enjoyed this video and you're excited to see my other videos on my curated Poshmark closet that has mostly mid-tier luxury, really feminine, mostly dresses, then please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And um, please consider uh, checking out my Instagram. I'm Thread Level Midnight LLC on Instagram. And I would love to see you there as well. And you can see the, the behind the scenes of everything I do. And I usually post when I get something really cool. So all the stuff that doesn't actually make it on my videos is definitely going to be on my Instagram. Jack, did you have anything to add? Okay, yeah. That's a good point to remember too. So we'll see you next time. Thanks again so much. Bye!